All right, guys, so in this week's video, I am back home from Green Bay, Door County, where I was fishing with my partner, the hammer, Brett Alexander, and we uh, we did really good in, the, in a couple of tournaments that we just fished up there for smallmouth, so we've had a great time. But I'm back home fishing one of my favorite lakes. Now, I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to fish today because they're calling for thunderstorms this afternoon. I got about a half a day to fish. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go fish for some bluegills. And I want you to leave me a comment down below. Do you think Wisconsin, we have a limit right now of 25 bluegills per person. Do you think a select handful of lakes, like a couple of these Madison chain lakes, should be brought down to 10 or 15? Like I'm in favor of that. I love big bluegills. I love catching big bluegills. Um, and I'm gonna show you the rig that we're gonna use. But the great thing about the Madison chain is this. If you're not catching bluegills, you can throw a little paddle tail. You can catch walleye, smallmouth, pike, big cats in here. I did bring some big catfish. I brought a couple of float rods, might throw some shrimp. I'll probably catch a rock bass or a white bass. Show you guys how I cut that up because it's June right now and everything that's going on in June is like, everything's in the weeds, everything's up in the warm bays. The, the bass are spawning. I, you know, I'm sure there's smallmouth on beds, really not gonna target them. Um, I'd like to get some bluegills. I'm just gonna throw them back. Maybe some big cats, but this is the time of the year. You kind of want to have a Senko rigged up. You know, weightless Senko if you're gonna fish um, up in these weeds and it's calm like this. Um, on this chain, there's big cats, so I'm gonna catch a rock bass or something, use that for bait. And then panfish, four pound test fluorocarbon leader, little tiny float here. I got a two way swivel. I've got five pound braid. Uh, I've got sirens going off right here, but I've got a St. Croix panfish rod, five pound braid, and the PC Fun Carbon X 1000. The reason I like the 1000, smaller reel than the 2000, super smooth drag, really affordable. If you guys have not checked out any of the PC Fun reels, some of the bait caster, I've got a bait caster here, they've got trolling reels, bait casting reels, um, spinning reels, backpacks, all sorts of types of different types of rods and gear. So check out PC Fun. Use my code EH15 in the link below. You can save yourself 15% on any of their reels, gear, any of that good stuff. So I'm gonna run around, look for some fish, start fishing. Here we go. All right. Hey, we got a couple of worms trying to escape. We got a volunteer. Good. Basically it. It's my bait rig. A little float. Oh, I see some fish right here on beds. Is that a bass or a bluegill? Is that a gill? Oh yeah, that's a gill. One gill. Wow, right around this big rock. Okay, that's cool. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there goes the float. There it goes. No, that's a smallie. I don't want to catch him. No. Oh, big cat. Big cat. Is he going to eat it? Oh, my God. Is he going to eat it? Ah, I'm going to hit the rocks. I'm going to hit the rocks. Abort. 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 Nice gills, yeah. I'm gonna have to go with the old drop shot rig. Got 
Got him. Oh, nice deal. Oh boy, it's a nice one. Oh, come on, come on. No, no, what did I hit? I hit the remote. It's a big gill. Yeah. That's a nice big gill. Oh yeah. They're so beautiful. Leave me a comment. What do you guys think about bluegills that are spawning? Oh, there he goes, perfect. That was about a nine, maybe a 10 incher, do you think? I mean, I almost think they should have the month of June like a 10 fish pan. I don't mind people keeping them. Keep what you want, eat what you want, to each their own. But I do feel like when they're spawning, it would be nice if the limits were like 10. All I would need would be 10. I'd be good with 10. My float's under. Got him. Made an adjustment. Ooh, big gills. Nice gills. Fun, fun, fun. Ooh, look at the bass chasing him. He's like, get away from my bed. Get away, get away, get away. Whoa, 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 what happened? What's going on? All right, number two. Boy, those are beautiful big gills, guys, look. Beautiful. Gonna let them go right back. These are the most important fish to release anyways. I mean, what are you supposed to do? Not fish in the month of June when the fish are spawning? I mean, to each their own. There you go. See you later, buddy. All right, I'm gonna drop down right over the side of the boat. Oh, oh. He's interested. Come on, come on. Got him, right under the boat. Ooh, big one too. Wow, bigger than I thought. Whoa, 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 right under the boat. Four pound test, big gills. That's a nice gill, finally caught one. And again, look at that, that's a nice bluegill. What I've got is just a, a drop shot. My weight just fell off, but there's two ways I, I catch them. One is a, a drop shot, which is a tiny hook and a red worm and the sinker on the bottom here. And I snell that hook. Let's take that worm off. And I'll just show you real quick, kind of hard to see, but take the worm. I hook it through the head once or twice, even if it's chewed up, red worms kind of stay on there one, two, two or three times, right through the head. And then uh, I tie on a little drop shot weight here. Four pound test, drop it right in there and shake it. There's a nice gill right here. All right, see if we can get them to eat. Got him right here. All right, drop shot, guys. A little bobber, a little drop shot. That's not a big one, but be an eater if you wanted to keep them. And again, not really keeping any. I'm just throwing them back off the beds. I'm out here in June, just got home. Fish are spawning. And there you go. Another nice gill. Come on, spit that out. Got him. Oh, it took forever to get that one. Buddy, it's a nice fish. Another nice kill. Wow. Average size. Look at this, you guys. Average size of these bluegills. Beautiful. Oh, 
Here you go, buddy. We'll make some more babies. Got him. All right. Lots of bluegills today. Drop shot's definitely the way to go. Definitely the way to go. It's a small one. Hook pops out nice. Got him right here. Come here. Beautiful, beautiful gills. Go back and finish spawning. See if there's somebody home over on the end here. Anybody home? Got him. Oh, that's a big gill. That's a big gill. Oh, nice and fat. Look at this. Wow. 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 They're just so tall. You know, they're so tall, wide, thick. Black tail on this one, too. Interesting. Cool. All right, I got about an hour and a half. I think I'm gonna go do some walleye fishing. Alrighty. It's hard to get away from these bluegills. Oh, damn, especially these big ones. Oh, well, it's gotta be a bass. I'm gonna throw a worm in here. Ah! I should just have another drop shot rigged up. Just want to show you guys, sometimes pretty easy. Just have a Senko rigged up. If you want to catch some smallies, you can catch smallies right here with them. He's got it. Got him right there. And there goes my Senko. Come here. But there you go. Bass are spawning. I guess it's just. Look for spawning bass, and you're going to see spawning bluegills all in the same area. I am not targeting the bass. I just wanted to point it out. If you want to catch a couple, put a Texas rig Senko, throw it out here. If it's shallow, you can catch bass all day long, too. White bass will not leave it alone.
Jeepers, it's just smallmouth after smallmouth. Look at them all right here, guys. See this? See them all right here with them? Look, the whole school. Whole school and other fish right down here. Right in the weeds. Put on spot lock and then just cast right there. If I want to catch smallmouth like this all day long. Which is fun. You don't need bait. Anywhere I go, I can throw these paddle tails like this. This is a post spawn fish already. He's off a bed. A nice fish. Those are nice white bass. Is there like 15 inches? I don't know. Let's see. All right. We're just going to see for reference how big these white bass are. Close his mouth. Don't jump on me. And 15 and a half, almost 16 inches. So just shy of 16. That's fun. Fun, fun, fun. There he is. Ooh, oh, oh, okay. Oh, nice perch. That, now that, oh, and I got a tangle. This is why you don't bring a catfish rod. Nice perch. Perch going poo poo. And a crappie! Yay! Hey, look! Oh my God, he's got—he got attacked. Everything eats a paddle tail. Looks like a pre-spawn female, almost. I don't know, but she's nasty. Let her go. it up with this one. Oh, we got a big crappie. Oh, another nice crappie. Look at this, guys. Wow, look at this big crappie. Everything eats a paddle tail. I've caught rock bass after rock bass, white bass after white bass, bluegills, no walleyes, lots of smallmouth. We're going to wrap it up with this beautiful crappie. All right, guys, the sun is setting. Came out here today, wanted to catch some big bluegills. Leave me a comment, what do you think? Do you think there should be a few lakes here in Wisconsin that grow giant bluegills where the panfish bag limit should be brought down to 10? Now, there's a few lakes that are doing that already. Minnesota is leading the way and a lot of their lakes and protecting and preserving some of these big bluegills now with live scope forward facing sonar in the summer and the winter they really don't stand a chance the only thing we can do as anglers as fishermen is try to protect and preserve and i just feel like some of the lakes not all of them 10 fish 10 of these big bluegills 20 fillets that's good enough for me and my family for a good meal so let me know leave me a comment remember if you're going to come out here for bluegills in the spring couple ways just your standard drop shot rig i don't know if you've fished a drop shot rig but it works fantastic with the red worm and then ah the little float the panfish float here the carbon x 1000 use my code save 15 percent and last but not least to end the day i didn't get a chance to throw any big swim baits or anything like that i was kind of trying to keep this video to a finesse fun way to come out and catch a lot of fish in june if you're going to do it try throwing little paddle tails three inch key tech two inch key tech 2.5 2.8 
anything any little small paddle tail little zoom mushroom head eight pound test you know and just bomb it out and swim it over the weeds you are going to get crappies walleyes usually everything so hopefully you enjoyed this week's video thanks for subscribing thanks for watching i got a long drive back to milwaukee see you guys